Hello everyone, I am Santosh Walke and in this video we will do the design of distillation column that is used in the cumin production process. So cumin is nothing but isopropyl benzene is produced by reacting propylene with benzene. The reaction for the cumin production process is propylene which is C3H6 reacts with benzene C6H6 and cumin we are getting C9H12. So this is the process for production of cumin and this is the first distillation column that we are going to design. So in the cumin production process the reactants are fed from their respective storage tank and after being pumped up to the required pressure or directed by the catalyst operating conditions the reactants are mixed, they are vaporized and heated to the temperature required by the catalyst in the fired heater. The liquid stream from the flash drum is sent to the first distillation column which separates the benzene for recycle. The second distillation column purifies the cumin from para diisopropyl benzene impurity. The design data for stream number 10, 11 and 12 is given in the table that we will see in the next slide. We have to design the heat, heat exchanger in the process for the production of cumin. Now we are going to design this distillation column in which the feed is stream number 10, distillate stream number 11 and bottom stream number 12. Now there are 5 components involved in this process, benzene, propylene, propane, cumin and para diisopropyl benzene. Temperature of the feed stream is 95 degrees centigrade, pressure is 1.75 bar which can be uh, uh, can we get to the 1.8 bar also fluid package we are going to use the PRSV now this is the actual plant data for stream number 10 11 and 12 for the industrial condition and we'll see what data that Aspen Hisis will give and we'll compare with these results so let us start we can open the Aspen Hisis we can open the new case now very first step that you have to add the component so there are five components. First one we will start with the benzene. Then we can start with propylene. Then propane. Then cumin and last component is this component we can search for the by using the formula it's a para diisopropyl benzene its formula is C12H18 we can see its name is 14 IP benzene so we can select this component and our five components that comes in the data bank benzene propene propane cumin and this para diisopropyl benzene next step we have to select the fluid package so we are going to select the fluid package PRSV so first two steps are complete now we will enter the simulation environment first step we will select the material stream this is a blue arrow will give the name as feed its temperature is 95 degree centigrade pressure here we are going to select the 1.8 bar pressure and we can enter in the mole flow tab now here we can enter the mole flows over here the composition basis is mole flow we can enter the benzene is 102.08 kg mole per hour propylene or you can say propane 2.9 propane 2.8 cumin 91.62 and last one para diisopropyl benzene is 2.8 kg mole per hour click on normalize and click ok 
we'll also create the stream for the distillate we can just give the name and then we can also create one more stream for bottom So give the name of the stream bottom okay so these two streams has been created additionally without any information now we'll select the distillation column so click on the columns now we can see this is the distillation column there are Absorber, liquid extractor, so okay. We can also search. This is the first one, is a distillation column. taking some time now we can column name we can give the name destination column one still we can select the field of the condenser we will select the total condenser and we can select the stream outlet or red stream outlet or liquid outlet is a distillate and bottom we can select the bottom now we have to select the condenser energy stream so we have to create the energy stream we can type it qc and for the reboiler we can type qr so we have selected the inlet stream we have selected the condenser total condenser overhead liquid outlet has distillate bottom liquid outlet as a bottom then two energy stream one qc is for condenser and qr is for reboiler we'll click on the next now this is the reboiler configuration we'll select by default it is selected once through reboiler and the reboiler type is regular high cc reboiler we will not change this uh, by default option so we'll continue with this we'll continue with the next step now the condenser pressure we have to enter the condenser pressure as 1.6 bar and reboiler pressure is 1.85 bar click on the next step now this step is uh, optional so optional if you know the condenser temperature estimates or the top stage temperature estimate or reboiler temperature estimate you can enter otherwise we will skip now we have to enter the liquid rate which is 105.89 kg mole per hour and reflux ratio we have 0 0.45 so we have entered the liquid rate this we have specified and the reflux ratio we will click on the done tab and then we will click on the run tab so we can say this is a converged now if you see the parameter site we can check with respect to the number of stages you can see the pressure versus stay position from the top then you can click on the estimate with respect to estimate you can find out the how the composition is changing then you can go to the rating tab you can see the diameter the internal diameter is 1.5 meter of the column and the track spec space is 0 0.55 the tray spec packed volume is 0 0.97 meter cube then if you see the vessel dimensions you can see the reboiler diameter is 1.193 condenser 1.193 length is 1.789 whether it is both condenser and reboiler length is same volume is 2 meter cube orientation is 100 if you see the equipment we have to click on the run tab pressure drop we can see 
if you click on the worksheet this is the conditions if you click on the composition you can find out in the field and in the bottom composition now if you click on the performance this is the performance tab and if you click on the plot if you plot with the temperature with respect to the tray position you can find out this graph of temperature with respect to the tray position we have selected the 11 number of stages or trays so the temperature is increasing now we can select instead of let's select the composition how the composition is changing you can say this is the benzene propene propane and cumin the composition you can change with respect to the tray also see the flow sheets with the different variables internal stream you can add over here the stream that will not go in details there are no reaction involved so we'll close this now first we'll add to position on and then we have to see the distillate composition if you select the composition we can select the basis now if you see the data available from the industrial condition is in kilo mole per hour so we'll change basis to mole flow now you can see the data available will be in kilo mole per hour or kilogram mole per hour so total we are getting 105.8898 in the distillate and let's see in the distillate 106.89 now we'll check it for the bottom stream here also we have to change the basis select the mole flow now we can see total 96.31 that is 96.28 so by this comparison we can see that the data that we are getting or the result we are getting from Aspen High Seas simulation is close to the actual data okay so we have to wait because sometimes all the table is not appearing so we have to wait for some time so in this way we have finished the simulation of a distillation column hope you like this video and if you have any query I will be very happy to answer your query so please comment your query in the comment box happy simulation and bye bye and take care